Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. My name is Angel and I think I'm finally at a point where I might not be too new to my channel that I don't have to say that anymore. So today we are continuing Adopted by Sam Goldbach and Colby Brock. Now hopefully you guys made it to the end of my video. Last time I did do a little bit of digging. So this story is essentially about a 13 year old girl who is in an orphanage um, who kind of is getting like a little beat up by the other kids in the orphanage as well as the lady who runs the orphanage. Um, I don't feel the need to put a trigger warning. There's literally been like a single slap or two. It has not been bad at all. And Sam and Colby randomly decide one day to make an appointment at an orphanage in 30 minutes, go to the orphanage, flip a coin on a child, and then take that child home. We also learned they did not tell uh, the rest of the people in their house that they were adopting a child. So according to one of the comments that the author left, this is just a story that the author thought of while they were in school. So it has nothing to do with them. So I don't really feel bad kind of like criticizing the idea of Sam and Colby just like randomly adopting some random child. And as always, by me reading these stories, this is not me making fun of the author in any way, shape or form. Um, I have never been a fan fiction girly, so I am just now introducing myself to fan fiction. All of the information on the story um, will be left in the comment section down below. Like I said, we are reading Adopted by Sam Goldbach and Colby Brock, and this is by WDW-Sam and Colby. And let's go ahead and get into part three. We are starting off strong with Jake's point of view. I was playing a game on my phone when I hear Colby shout, we're home. I say, cool, and head over to them. And I see this young girl with a bag on her shoulder. I say, uh, who is this? Pointing at the girl. Then Colby says, this is Ava. Sam and I adopted her. I say, okay, and walk over to Ava and kneel down and ask her why she let these two knuckleheads adopt you, pointing at Sam and Colby. She answers, well, they picked me, so I had no choice, and asked Sam if I was one of the roommates they were talking about, and he said yes. I get up from kneeling and say to Sam and Colby if the other guys know you adopted her. I get up from kneeling and ask Sam and Colby if the other guys know you adopted her. They say no, and I just look at Ava and say to Colby, well, where is she going to sleep? We have no more rooms. Sam said she can stay with Colby. He has room in his room for her to stay with him. Ava looks at Colby and Colby says, yeah, you can stay in my room. I'll show you where it's at. Colby says and holds Ava's hand and goes upstairs. Colby's POV. I grab Ava's hand and notice that she flinches after I grab her hand, so I just let it go. I take her upstairs to my room and say, here's my room, and Sam's is across from mine. Well, now ours. I see her look at the sticky notes plastered around my room. Then she asks why there are sticky notes everywhere. So I say, see, Ava, since we are YouTubers, we like to prank each other a lot. So we say, welcome to the prank war when we prank each other. She says, Okay. Then she puts her stuff on my couch. We walk out of the room only to see Corey coming up the stairs. He sees us and comes over to us and asks who this is, pointing to Ava. I say, this is Ava. Sam and I adopted her today and she's staying in my room. He says, okay, and says hi to Ava and goes into his room. She asks who Corey was, so I said that was another roommate. His name is Corey. She says, okay, and we go downstairs to Sam shouting at Jake. So I say they are probably playing Rocket League. Oh, I love Rocket League. Oh my gosh, I haven't played that game in so long. Ooh, I think this is going to be my favorite section that we have ever read at this point. I'm talking like through all of the fan fiction that I have read so far. I think this one's going to be my favorite. This is Corey's POV. Okay, are you ready for this one? I... I come up the stairs to grab something when I see Colby with a 13-year-old girl. I say, who is this? Pointing at her. Colby says, this is Ava. Sam and I adopted her. I say, okay. And they go downstairs. And I was about to go to my room when Aaron asked who I was talking to. So I said, Colby and Ava. Who is Ava? Aaron asked me. So I told him who Ava was. Then he said, okay, and went downstairs. That was the end of that section. I just, I I feel like there was um, like a lot of meat in that one that we just really needed to break down. Um, I love that we are bringing Aaron into the story, but that was a little mean and I'm so sorry to the author. It was just a joke. You also admitted you understand um, that this was not your best writing. 
but I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for publishing this anyways. Ava's POV. Colby and I go into the living room and see that Sam and Jake are playing a game. Colby asks me if I was okay and I say yes and sit down next to Sam. He looks at me and goes back to his game with Jake. Then I see someone come in and look at me then say, Colby, Sam, can you come here please? They get up and walk to the man and they walk to the kitchen. Then I ask Jake why there are all guys here. So he said, cause we're all close friends and so we're renting a house together. I say, okay, and ask Jake how to play the game he and Sam were playing. He says, yeah, I'll teach you how to play. Okay, Jake, thank you. And he hands me Sam's controller and tells me what buttons to hit. Then Sam and Colby come back in and see me with Jake and Sam's controller. Colby says that we need to have a house meeting. Then Coria and the two other guys come into the room. Sam, Jake, Colby, and I were in. Sam said for me to stand up and come next to him and Colby. So I do. Then Colby points at me after I stand in the middle of them and says, this is Ava. Sam and I adopted her today. I say hello. Then the one... That took Sam and Colby out to talk, said his name was Elton. I say, okay. Then Jake said that they already have a place for her to stay at. What does that even mean? Elton's POV. I was about to take Circa on a walk when I see a 13-year-old girl sitting next to Sam. Then I see Colby on the love sack. So I say, Sam, Colby, can you come here, please? They get up and walk to me. Then I say, come with me to the kitchen. And they do. I ask why a 13-year-old girl is here. You know what? Props to Elton for being like, why is there a 13 year old girl in a house full of grown men? And Sam says that her name is Ava and we adopted her today. I look at them in shock. Then I say, well, you better return her back to where you got her then because you two are not responsible to take care of a kid, let alone a teenager. <laughs> You know, I, Elton has just never been someone that I'm like, you know, a fan of. I, he's, I just never have followed him individually. And I understand this is not a real story, but props to Elton. Someone has to be the adult in this situation and be like, you literally cannot take care of a child. Then they look at me and say, well, we adopted her and now she's our responsibility and we can handle it, Elton. I'm excited to see uh, where Jake and Elton are planning on having her stay. Part four, Colby's POV. We come back from talking with Elton about Ava when we see Jake teaching Ava how to play Rocket League. I say, cool, Jake, you're teaching Ava how to play Rocket League to beat Corey. Yeah, he is, and hits Jake's elbow with hers and laughs. I sit next to her and ask her what she wants for lunch. She says a sandwich. So I ask her what type of sandwich she wants. And she says a turkey sandwich. I love the details. I always love a good lore. If any of you watch the canceled podcast, um, it's currently like January when I'm filming this. Canceled podcast just came out with a new episode and Tana's word of the episode was lore. Everything was a lore. Everything had lore. Everything is lore. And I think now for me, everything is also lore. So yes, WDW dash Sam and Colby, give us the lore. I say, okay. And she hands Sam back his controller and gets up and goes upstairs. Then yells for both of us to come upstairs. So we do. And Aaron comes to us and says that he heard screams coming from our bathroom. We run to the bathroom and I try the door, but it's locked. So I say, Ava, are you okay? Because Aaron heard you scream. An hour later, Ava's POV. I get up from the floor of Colby's bathroom and unlock the door and walk out. I walk downstairs and see Sam with a girl in the kitchen kissing. So I ignore it and try to find Colby to say that I'm sorry, but I can't find him. So I go back to the kitchen and Sam and the girl stop kissing as I get into the kitchen. The girl says, who's this in a mean tone? In parentheses, it says, I don't hate Kat, but it's just part of the story. You know, I don't think Kat would talk like that to a, I don't think anybody would talk like that about a 13 year old girl. I was about to say who I was when Sam said it for me. This is Ava. Me and Colby adopted her today. She just looks at me and says to me, well, you should return her. She is ugly. I start to cry. And then I run back upstairs and into Colby and Mai's room and shut the door and cry when I hear Colby from outside of the door if he can come in. I say yes, and he opens the door to see me crying, then asks me what's wrong. I tell him that I was trying to find you to say sorry, but I couldn't find you. So I was going to say sorry to Sam when a girl named Kat said for you and Sam to return me because I am ugly. To be fair, I did say in one of my previous fan fiction, I love a good like damsel in distress story of like just the men around you just being men and saving you and taking care of you. So I guess 
is this like the 13 year old version of that? Because um, I am confused. Hobie just looks at me and says that I am not ugly and hugs me. I say thank you and he says, well, let's go downstairs and see what Kat thinks of you after I say you are adorable. Sam's POV. I was kissing Kat when I noticed Ava come downstairs and walk around. She was probably looking for something. Then comes into the kitchen. I wasn't going to read this part because it felt very repetitive. However, I think Sam's context does give us um, the information that we need. No, it doesn't. But I'm going to read it anyways. I stopped kissing Kat. Then Kat looks over to Ava and asks, who is this in a tone I've never heard before? I could tell Ava was about to say something, but I said it first. This is Ava. Me and Colby adopted her today. She looks at Ava and says what I never thought would ever come out of her mouth. Well, you should return her. She is ugly. Ava starts to cry and runs upstairs. Then I hear Colby shout that he is home. I say, okay, and he goes upstairs. I then look at Kat and shout, get out. She asks why. Then I say, well, you made Ava cry. So get out. Oh, ooh, she just slaps me and says, well, she deserves to cry and leaves. In what world does a 13 year old girl deserve to cry? Colby and Ava come downstairs and sees me. Then Colby says, how dare Kat say we should take Ava back and that she's ugly. I say, yeah, I told her to get out. So I took care of it and walk over to Ava and say that I'm sorry for what Kat said. You are beautiful and we are never taking you back. My favorite thing about Wattpad. So like if on any other social media, there is like an offensive comment, it'll normally completely like hide the comment. And then you have the option to unhide the comment to see what it says. Wattpad, however, somebody said F cat. And then it's just a note underneath it that says this comment may be offensive. Thank you, Wattpad. Thank you so much for letting me know. All right. Part number five, Ava's POV. Sam tells me that he's sorry for what Kat said and that I am beautiful and that they're never taking me back. I smile and hug him. Then I feel someone holding my waist. I scream. I hear Colby say he's sorry. I say, don't do that again, please, because my parents abused me and I have a scar right there from them. Sam says, we're not going to do that to you at all. I say, OK, and hug him and say, thank you for adopting me. They say, you're welcome. Then Colby says that tomorrow they are going to explore for their combined channel and said that I am coming with them, and I say, okay. When I first read that sentence, I definitely thought that they were starting like a family vlog channel, and I was like, boys, you can't do that. You can't be doing that. Colby's POV, essentially what I just said. Plus, she asked why Kat hates her when she just came here. Sam says, well, she has to get to know you, and then she won't hate you. Ava responds, so what you're saying is that she needs to get to know me, then she won't hate me, but you barely know me and you don't hate me. And same with some of your friends that you live with. Sam is shocked. That's profound for a 13 year old to say. Sam is shocked then says, well, yes, but that's because we love you very much. And the roommates, well, they're going to love you just as much as we do. Later that day, Sam's POV. I was editing a video for my channel when I hear my door open. So I look over and see Ava. So I say, hey, what do you need? She says, Jake needs all of us for a video. I say, okay, and close my computer and walk out of the room with Ava. We walk down the stairs where Ava points to where Jake wants to film. So we walk over to the rest of the roommates sitting on the couch. So we sit on the couch with them. Jake says, this is a get to know each other roommates edition. We all say, okay, so what you're telling me is um, these grown men are now making this child their assistant. Hey, we want to film a video. Uh, can you... Can you go upstairs and get the other guys really quick? I don't really feel like walking upstairs. This author is just doing this whole group dirty, except Elton. Elton at least has some sense of responsibility in him. We all say, OK, then he hands us 10 pieces of paper and hits record on his camera. He does his intro and says, OK, so today I'm with my roommates. And if you don't already know, Sam and Colby adopted a kid and her name is Ava. And don't give her hate. They picked her. Ava smiles and says hi. Then Jake says, OK, let's get started and ask, how did we all meet? I write down my answer. Then I look at Ava. She writes that she met Colby and I at the adoption center and that me and Colby did a house meeting and introduced her to the rest of the roommates. Jake says, OK, time to flip over your answers. I will read them. Jake got to Ava's and read hers, then said, that is true. And again, don't give her the hate. Then read mine. After Jake's video, Ava's POV. 
I went to Colby and I's room and opened my bag and start to unpack. I went to open the closet to see all of Colby's shirts. So I yell for Colby. He comes in and says, what do you need? I say, where can I put my clothes? Because there's no room in your closet. I absolutely believe that Colby is one of those people to just have like an endless amount of clothes. He says, oh, well, I can make some room for your clothes. Just give me a second to give you enough room. I say, okay, and put my shoes where he puts his shoes. Then he says he made room. So I say, okay, and grab my shirts and hang them up. I say thanks and hug him. Then he asks, why do I have glasses? I say, because when I was at the orphanage, we had an eye exam and I failed it. So they said that I need glasses. He says, okay, then ask me if I wanted to go with him to the store. I said, yeah. Then he said for me to get my shoes on. I get on my vans. Then we say to Sam that we are going to the store. We walk downstairs when Corey yells, welcome to the prank war, Elton. I look at Colby. He says that it's fine, but we should leave because Elton will get mad. I say, OK, and walk out of the house to Colby's car. He unlocks it. I get in the back seat. Then he says for me to get in the front seat. So I do. Then I buckle up and he starts the car and we leave for the store. While in the car, Colby asks me, what do I want for the store? I say period stuff since I'm 13 and it can happen anytime from here on out. He says, OK, and we ride to the store in silence for the rest of the ride. When we get there, he got out of the car. Then some girls said, hey, to Colby, then asked that they could take pictures with him. He said yes. Then one of them asked me who I was. I said, me? Oh, I'm Ava. Colby and Sam adopted me today. The one that asked that said I was lucky because he and Sam are amazing. I say thanks. Then another girl said that I am ugly. <laughs> Oh, who would say that? Like, I can, I genuinely cannot imagine meeting someone and then just being like, ew, you're ugly, but I get it. It's a story. I get it. I look at her. Then Colby says, no, she is not. She is like me and Sam. So deal with it. Huh? We walk into the store and Colby says, we should get my things first. So I say, okay. And we head to the girly stuff aisle. That is where we are going to end today's video. What are you guys thinking of this story? That was part five. Um, so we only have part six, seven, and eight left. I will probably just go ahead and put those into one video. Um, let me know what you guys think of this story down below. Are you as uncomfortable as I am? Because I am very uncomfortable. Anyways, make sure and leave a comment down below. Let me know what kind of stories you guys want to hear. Um, send me. Um, all of my social media is in the description box down below. Um, I have noticed that there are like fan fiction type TikToks where it's just like the text on the screen. So if you guys find any of those, definitely send them to me. Um, I think I want to do like a reaction to those kind of TikToks. I think it would be fun to do that with you guys. So um, definitely send those my way if you guys find any. Um, but anyways, make sure and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. So I know to keep continue making these videos and make sure to subscribe if you haven't already to stay up to date with all of my fun fan fiction thingies. And I will see you guys in the next video.